Welcome back to Morning Mix. On Sunday, October 8th, the Maxwell Theater at Augusta University will be filled with music benefiting the Jesse Norman Amphitheater, uh, School of the Arts, rather, celebrating a major milestone, 20 years of the Jesse Norman School of the Arts. Executive Director Gary Dennis and student Asia Curry join us this morning with uh, more info on it. Hey, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I always get that mixed up. The School of the Arts and the Amphitheater. Just, I'm never going to get that right, I think. Gary, thanks for joining us here. Tell us a little bit about the Jesse Norman School of the Arts. Well, we're primarily a free after-school um, art enrichment program. Uh, we serve uh, about 100, 125 in our after-school during the school year program, and then another couple hundred during the um, summer at our main campus. And then over the last three years, we've really focused on expanding services throughout the community. So you have Jesse Norman School programming in Blythe and in Trenton, South Carolina, and in Aiken, and um, at the Hub, and um, really all over the community. And here you are getting ready to celebrate the 20th anniversary. What can audience members look forward to? Well, we've got four amazing opera singers, two sopranos, a um, bass baritone, and a tenor coming in to, um, to whip things up in the opera world. Um, and then we've got the Jesse Norman um, School Singers, uh, including Asia, uh, who will be um, performing the school's creed uh, that one of our teachers set to music maybe 10 or 12 years ago. And as you said, you're going to be performing. How are rehearsals going for this? They're going great. Yeah. What's your favorite part about the whole process? The, the rehearsals and the home at home feel vibe around the school. And Gary, how important is it to be sure and ensure mm -hmm. that uh, fine arts is still being available uh, for students? Yeah, um, I think, you know, the fine arts are, um, they're an enrichment, um, but I think a lot of people um, fail to recognize the importance of the arts as a stepping stone accomplishment. Um, it's one, we feel that it adds uh, um, achieve, the opportunity for achievement, and then that achievement um, builds confidence, and then that confidence adds to um, the possibility for more achievement. Um, academics mm -hmm. and, and in life. I mean, learning how to play a guitar is um, no different than learning how to um, do algebra. So um, there you have it. Like speaking that. of achievements, you actually brought an award with you. Uh, let's talk about this. Yeah. This is one of Jesse Norman's five Grammys. This okay. Uh, yeah. That just says enough, right? There. <laughs> yeah. You go to this school. I've not seen a Grammy up uh, close and personal. I know, me neither. Right? <laughs> me neither. Only you never on thought TV, you would right? do something like that again. <laughs> and, and obviously, Jesse Norman's the namesake for the school, uh, who was uh, pivotal in creating mm -hmm. the School of right. the Arts. Yeah. She shared um, all five of her awards with us in 2018, um, hoping that it would inspire the kids to pursue excellence. And I think it has. And now, where can, let's go ahead and recap the information here. Uh, where can people get information for the 20th anniversary benefit? Yep, so thejnsa.org is the website. You can buy tickets. You can get all the details about the concert and about the performers. Um, it will be at the Maxwell Performing Arts Theater, 2500 Walton Way, October 8th, 4 p.m. Sunday. Um, lots of fun. All right. Okay. You should check Have that out. Have a good out. time. You don't want to miss that. Yep. Gary, Asia, Gary appreciate it much. Thank you, guys. Thank you.